All right, hey everybody, Gratuitous here from itsgratuitous.com. In this tutorial, I wanna teach you how to navigate the playlist really, really fast, all right? So for example, I'll just show you some things here in FL Studio. So I was recently just having a lesson with a student and I was noticing that they were really struggling getting around the playlist nice and fast, all right? And I just wanna share with you the right click and hold technique. So as you can see, when I right click and hold, it's a magnifier. All right, so you can zoom in however tight you want or you can zoom into a whole area. It allows you to work in that area nice and easy. For example, you can see I have some chops right here, right? So if I zoom into that, right, I can get however close I want to that. There's the chop, 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 right? There they are right there. So I'm just gonna break that down in this tutorial as well as some other kind of powerful little tricks when we're navigating the playlist. And again, the best way to get started is to try my free book, right? If you just want to try it out, it's called Five Keys to a Successful Beat. So simple, it becomes creative. Just go to itsgratuitous.com forward slash five keys, sign up with your name and email, and I will email it to you. All right, so let's get into the tutorial. So if you guys have been following me for a while when it comes to using FL Studio, you know that this is my workflow. Very, very easy to navigate. I have my playlist, I have my step sequencer or channel rack, and I have the mixer. And I also have my effects on the left side, all right? This is a really pro tip, which you probably will not find out there. The reason I like this is because usually our mouse is more to the left of the screen than it is to the right, and it will significantly improve your workflow. But in this tutorial, I wanna talk about the playlist. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit enter, and again, look in the bottom left, you can see all my keyboard shortcuts. So how you do this is you hold down control and right click and it allows you to get the magnifier and you can zoom in exactly where you want to zoom in. For example, if I just want to highlight this area or just kind of work in this area, then when I want to go back 100%, you just hold down control and right click and now you're at 100%. You can see right here I have uh, some chops, okay, some uh, on the drum loop, I've chopped it up, okay. So if I want to really, really, fi uh, you know, fine tune, get in there close, there you go. There is, are the chops, nice and easy. If I want to zoom out just a little bit, you can hold down control and the scroll wheel, usually until I find like an area where I can just kind of right click to deselect. If you want to move around nice and fast too, you can also hold down the middle scroll wheel, gives you the hand. Okay, I understand a lot of people like to use this up here, but I usually find this is kind of out of the way always and also because it's kind of small. So holding down control, right click and zoom, super, super powerful. If you want to kind of back up a little bit, you can hold down control and you know the scroll wheel forward and back. If you want to navigate just a little bit around it, just use your middle scroll wheel. If you want to vertically do it, hold on alt and the scroll wheel, okay? Uh, and then again, if you want to go to 100%, just control and right click. Okay, and that's it for this tutorial. I just wanted to show you a, a way to navigate the playlist nice and fast. Um, this is by far the fastest way that I've discovered to use FL Studio. So you guys can check out what's called my course pathways. It breaks down the exact order to watch my courses for the best learning experience. Students have got up and running within as little as three months, all right? So if you guys have any questions, just feel free to send me an email at hi at itsgratuitous.com. Thanks for checking out this video. I'm a recognized FL Studio trainer and I'll talk to you in the next tutorial. Hey Gratuitous here. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you want to become a better producer, then check out my podcast called Music Production Made Simple. It's totally free and available wherever you listen to podcasts. I also run a Beatmaker trainer platform. There's over 26 courses in there right now, all focused on FL Studio. It's helped a lot of students and I'm sure you'll love it. For more information, just go to itsgratuitous.com forward slash courses. Finally, if you like to read, all of my books are now available in one bundle, such as audio painting about arrangement, safe spots about drum loops, FL Studio Beginners book, which is gonna teach you the basics, my template book to teach you about a fast workflow, as well as proper producer mindset to start your music production career right the first time. For more information on my book bundle, just go to itsgratuitous.com forward slash books. Thanks again for watching. Visit itsgratuitous.com for all your FL Studio training needs.